Yo, what's good, Tristans? And she's from. Today, we're going to be reacting to Billie Eilish and Haley Williams singing Misery Business at Coachella. You heard me right. But before we get started, be sure to check me out Instagram, TikTok, Patreon. On my Patreon, by the way, I have a singing technique series that I'm working on. Also, you'll get an uncensored version of this video since YouTube keeps blocking it. I also have a blocked live stream reaction to Billie's last album there as well. Okay, bye. If you're interested in that, please check it out because all my videos get copyright claimed. Also, Instagram is the best place to let me know about videos like this and stuff for me to react to. So be sure you follow me over there. Let's just jump into this. I'm just surprised as you guys are about this mashup. Let's see what's up with this. Everybody, can we please welcome my friend, Haley Williams! <laughs> Even the guitarist looks confused. What the heck? I heard about this earlier today and I was like, what? Wow. This literally just happened like two hours ago. My first Coachella. <laughs> really? Whoa. How have they not invited her to Coachella Whoa. before? Whoa, thanks for sharing this with me. This is sick. Hi. <laughs> Haley, wanna, wanna sing something? Yeah, yeah. Oh! I, yes. Woo! Ah, oh, Fitness is playing it too. That's so cool. Dude. Dude. When this song came out, this was my favorite song, and it's still one of my favorite songs. Oh, she's so good. That's so cool. I want to hear more Billy though. I hope that she takes over one of these verses. Something cool. Second chances they don't matter. You're nothing more. I'm sorry that'll never change. That's so cool. I'm sorry, honey, but I pass it up now. Look this way. Well, there's a million other girls. This is so different from her normal style, but she's still adding her air into the tone. She's still making it sound like Billy. It's pretty cool. Just like you, looking as innocent as possible to get to who they want and what they like. It's easy if you do it right. Well, I refuse, I refuse, I refuse. That was so good. Oh my god, I'm getting chills. Oh my god, I can't believe Billy just sang that part. Dude, Haley is freaking insane. I feel like she legitimately does not get as much credit as she deserves because she's a woman singing rock. I don't know if that's weird to say or not, but uh, <laughs> yeah, she's super good. We're gonna break down the technique that she's using after this. I just want to watch this in its full glory first. So cool, dude. It just feels so good. This is one of the coolest video, like the coolest performances I've seen in a while. That was so good. 
I skipped ahead a little bit to see her Happier Than Ever performance, which I'm also going to react to. And they sing it together in that as well. So before we jump into the, like a little bit of an, an analysis, be sure you subscribe to the channel, bell notification on, because you don't want to miss the Happier Than Ever reaction with Haley Williams in it as well, do you? No, you don't. And by the way, forgive me in advance. I have been sick this entire week, so some of my examples might be a little bit rough. I'm do my best. We're going to do Haley. We're going to do Billy right after. <laughs> A few things. So the beginning of these verses, generally speaking, the lower part of your range, you don't open your mouth a lot in the first place. But Haley's going for sort of like a held sound to her voice. So she's keeping her teeth more or less closed in the lower part. As she goes up in pitch, she usually goes for a sound that's more out and more open and more full, especially in this song. So she opens her mouth a bit more and goes for more of a shoutier sound. But in the beginning, she has this like airy held sound. And she sort of over pronounces the consonants to sort of give it like a little bit of punchiness because she's not actually singing very loud. So it's something like I'm in the business of misery where she sort of pops off the B. I'm in the business of misery. And then she goes, take it from the top. Right. And then uh, ticking like a clock. She really pops off on the consonants because the way that she's singing on its own doesn't have a lot of power to it. And obviously she's singing like a rock type sound. So she wants it to sound punchy, even though She's really singing more in a pop style at the low part of her range. It's pop punk, right? Pop elements to her vocals, especially in the verses. And then you're going to hear her get shoutier and more open as it goes up in pitch. Right there. I'm probably going to talk about how Haley sings the chorus, maybe in the second chorus. But let's contrast Haley's verse with Billy's verse. I'm curious as well, because I've never heard Billy sing in this exact style before. Ah, so straight away, a very striking difference. Billy's not overpronouncing the consonants the way that Haley does. And that's what's giving her more of that like smoother approach to it, right? About forgiveness, we're both supposed to wear the chains. I'm sorry, honey, but I pass it up now. Look this way. Well, there's a million other girls do it just like you. Looking as innocent as possible to get to good. The other thing that Billy does is they have a very, very similar approach. To be honest, the way that they're singing is very similar. Haley is a tad bit louder, and she also sings a tad bit darker. Whereas Billy here is actually singing a little bit more uh, babyish and her larynx is a little bit higher. And when you sing with a higher larynx, it tends to make everything a bit brighter sounding and a bit more babyish. The other thing is right there, as Billy went up in pitch, she maintained the closedness sound to give it a little bit more of an angsty feeling. Again, again, Haley opens up as she goes into that pre-chorus, I suppose. But then when they get to the chorus, I think they're both pretty open. <laughs> Ah, that's so good. That delivery is so good. But anyway, so that gives Billy more of a sound like, let's see if we can find a good example for me to imitate here. Sorry, that'll never change. I'm sorry, that'll never change. <laughs> right? She has that kind of an attitude to her voice. Where it's this lighter, more babyish sound. And it's a bit quieter as well than Haley. Oh my God. I want to see Billy go in this direction more. It'd be so good. Yeah, but okay, back to Haley singing this chorus. Completely different approach to the chorus for her. Whoa! Right? She goes, um, I try to imitate the same mouth structure. She goes, Whoa, I never meant to brag. Right? She has these open sounds in between these more closed. Oh, I never meant to brag. Right? And when they're open, she gets shouty and super, super loud. And then she pulls it back and says, I never meant to brag. Right? I got it where I want it now. Oh, Again. Ah, oh, that's so cool. But it's so crazy too, because you could hear how she had really attacked the God in a way that's shouty, but it's sort of like intentionally not technical. God, it just feels. And then she goes into this, God, it just feels so. Where she really shapes it. It just feels so good. That's what I said. I watched this wild streams come true and not one of them. Involving you with just watch my waters. And again, back 
straight back into this I watch my wildest dreams where's this more held quieter sound right not so open not so shouty but let's go straight into it but straight back into it come true and you can think of the way that she sings a lot of her high notes or a lot of these open fuller sounds as her actually shouting but in a very singy sort of controlled way because obviously she's not just hey she's not just attacking the note the way that she does here but she does like a soft yell and that's how people describe belting a lot of times is soft yelling i really like that term involving that was like a hard yell let's say and she's gonna do like a soft yell that's not that's a hard yell right soft yell Also, with very, very precise focus on the vowels, whenever she's doing these open, full sounds, the only vowels that are accessible to her are E and O. And you can pay close attention, you'll only hear those vowels. And she sits straight on those vowels because she knows consciously or otherwise, those are the only vowels accessible to her. O. That's an E. Right? That's brag. Brag. And then when she loses that belty open sound and her mouth closes down a bit, she changes her e eh to e, eh, which allows her to get quieter and a little bit more popish, right? And by the way, last little point here is generally speaking, when she does those more open, beltier sounds, notice the mouth position she takes on. Hey! She has this. Anyway, that was so freaking cool. I am so excited to jump into Happier Than Ever. So again, be sure you subscribe, hit the notification if you want to see that. And until next time, just stay on Peace.